Casimo Island. For me, a resident that has lived in Redland City since 1979, I have spent half of my life just appreciating this place and protecting it through trying to mitigate the impacts of irresponsible people and industry, discarding litter and refuse. And because of its uh, proximity, is constantly inundated with uh, waterborne litter, which uh, is a direct threat to marine life. Now we have three major species of uh, turtle. That's the loggerhead turtle, green turtle, and hawksbill turtle. We also have a vibrant colony of dugongs, which come right into these areas, as do all of the turtle species. And then we have uh, 43 species of wading birds and 30 migratory species. And they're all listed through the, the uh, internationally recognized uh, Ransar Agreement. But it's just the natural beauty and serenity of uh, this place. If you go there on dusk, if you go there as, uh, as dawn approaches, there is no better place to be if you're looking for solitude and a, and a contemplative, uh, I suppose, resplendent celebration of everything that Mother Nature provides. Now, people who haven't been to Kassam Island wouldn't realise there is a beautiful sand isthmus that runs directly uh, from east to west, which designates it as a, as a bona fide island. So we're losing that if we endorse this, uh, this PDA site, which has been thrust upon us by Redland City Council and the state government. Sandy Island also extremely significant in uh, the way that it directs siltation between the, uh, the mainland Kassam and the channel that runs between the two islands, which feeds right down into Cox Bank and Epipar Creek. And without that flotation zone, you're going to get uh, that entrance channel silting constantly, which is going to be very costly to maintain. And it makes no sense because this is the most exposed location for a marina in Moreton Bay. And Mother Nature designed Kassam Island to be a natural breakwater to mitigate and prevent erosion of the foresha areas, which front uh, Toondar, Oyster Point, G. Walder Park, right up to Cleveland Point. So apart from all that, it's just a beautiful place and it should be left undisturbed for posterity. <laughs>